Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you an overview of the PlayStation View using the Fire TV and the Fire TV Stick from Amazon. Besides the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, these are the other two devices you can use to connect your TV to watch PlayStation View. You can also use the Chromecast paired with an iOS device as well, but some of the features are stripped back, such as lack of fast forward and rewind buttons, and some shows will only start at the beginning. I will do another video about my experiences with the Chromecast paired with the View, but for now I would recommend either a PS3, PS4, or the Fire TV devices. The overall experience is mostly the same as the PlayStation 4, so if you want a complete overview and review of the PlayStation View service, check out my full review. I'll put the link in the description below. There are some differences between the Fire TV and the Fire TV Stick. First, let's look at the Fire TV. I'm using the first generation Fire TV. Amazon bumped up the specs on the current second generation, but everything I've read is that the performance is mostly the same, if not slightly better on the current Fire TV. Using the Fire TV remote works great here. The simple remote is all you need. Using the remote is much nicer than having to use the DualShock 4 controller on the PS4. Navigating the menus and through the guide is not nearly as smooth as the PlayStation 4. Everything's just a bit more choppier. This isn't so bad, but if you use this after experiencing the buttery smooth menus and guide on the PS4, then this stands out even more. Every time you load the guide, it has to download each portion. I'm amazed they don't have this download the guide information directly to the Fire TV so it doesn't have to load it each time. But I typically browse to a show that I already know is on, or I'll be watching something that I've already added to my shows. So honestly, this is really not that big of a deal to me, but if you like to browse the guide, keep this in mind. One of the best things about using the Fire TV with the PlayStation View is the fact that they actually give you a skip back and skip forward. I'm really confused why they don't give you this on the PlayStation 4. That's my largest complaint on such a great experience otherwise. Here you can jump back 10 seconds or skip forward in 10 second intervals. Holding down the skip button will fast forward very quickly. Picture quality is the same on both the Fire TV and Fire TV Stick. It's still good, but it runs here in only 30 frames per second versus 60 frames per second on the PS4. This is really only noticeable in watching sports. Take a look at the news ticker at the bottom. It's not as smooth as if it was 60 frames per second. This really doesn't bother me though, so you can judge the picture quality here for yourself. Next, jumping over to the Fire TV Stick, everything functions the same way, except even slower. Using the Fire TV Stick is painfully slow. Everything from booting the app to accessing the guide, the Fire TV Stick can barely keep up. Just look at how long it takes to start a show. Simply bringing up the menu is very laggy. Everything takes about a second to respond. The Fire TV Stick is just not powerful enough to make this a great experience. But again, once you're into your show, performance is great. I'd recommend this for an extra TV, not your main one. If you're going to marathon episodes of a show or like to browse the guide and live TV, the choppy menus will become frustrating. But for only 39 bucks, it's still worth considering. So the scenario that I would recommend would be ideally having the PS4 on your main TV and then adding the $99 Fire TV to an additional TV. With the Fire TV Stick, you get what you're paying for here. If you're just going to watch a show that you've added to my shows, then the speed is a non-issue here. But if you're watching this for hours, browsing through live TV and exploring the recommended shows, then the choppy performance may drive you nuts. But it is nice that they give you such a cheap option. And really, if you put this in perspective, for the price of the Fire TV Stick and the PlayStation View subscription, you get an amazing TV experience with the ability to record as many shows as you'd like. Just think of how TV was just 15 years ago. Let me know what you guys think of the PlayStation View service in the comments below. And if you like this review, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks!